Aruba is a tiny Dutch Caribbean island off the coast of Venezuela with beautiful blonde beaches, gentle surf, and warm, sunny weather. The sun-soaked paradise of Aruba is nicknamed One Happy Island, and as soon as you set your sights on the sparkling, turquoise water and endless blonde beaches it's easy to see why life is so good here. In addition to these obvious draws, the island features an array of all-inclusive resorts, glorious European-influenced architecture with Dutch gables in pretty pastel colors, and a vibrant, compact capital called Orangestad. Here are the best things to do in Aruba. But, before we start, make sure you subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for the latest upcoming travel videos. Number 10. Pedernales Wreck The SS Pedernales was a World War II lake tanker that was torpedoed and sunk by a German U-boat en route to a refinery on Aruba. The center portion of the vessel still remains submerged off the shore of Palm Beach, approximately 25 feet below sea level. Skilled divers might be hesitant to make a trip to this rather shallow wreck site, but the Pedernales is a great way to get your feet wet in the sport. Recent divers enjoyed the approximately 40-minute swim to thanks to the sea's abundant wildlife and clear conditions. Some warn that experienced divers may want to seek more challenging dives as this one is truly for beginners. Several popular expedition companies will take you to Pedernales for a dive including Red Sail Sports, Native Divers Aruba, and the Mermaid Dive Center. Dive packages tend to be moderate to expensive. The cost varies based on your scuba experience, equipment rental, and a lot of time. Number 9. California Lighthouse Named after a British steamship that wrecked just offshore near the end of the 19th century, the California Lighthouse is one of the most popular sightseeing stops in Aruba. Unfortunately, recent travelers say it's also one of the most overrated. However, experts and other travelers do agree that the view from the top of the 1910-era lighthouse is very romantic. What's more, it was recently renovated. So what's the verdict? If you can venture away from the hotel area if you enjoy lighthouses or good Italian food, then by all means make the journey. After all, people are going to ask if you stopped at this must-see anyway. But if your schedule is already jam-packed with things to do in Aruba, this could be an attraction to knock off the list. Located at the northernmost tip of Aruba, the California Lighthouse is open daily and guided tours are available for $10 per person. Number 8. Io and Kezabari Rock Formations Not everyone likes to stay camped out on a Caribbean beach, shopping in a duty-free store or diving deep to a bygone shipwreck. If this is you, visit the Io and Kezabari Rock Formations, a cluster of cacti, boulders and hiking trails located in eastern Aruba. This is the recommendation repeated over and over again from recent guests of the region, who say the area, when judged in a vacuum, is unimpressive. But considering your big events on Aruba are limited to sea time, shop time, spa time or slots time, the Io and Kezabari rock formations make an interesting enough stop and offer a panoramic vista from the top. Io and Kezabari are free to visit at any time of day. However, you should stop by early in the morning to beat the Caribbean heat and the cruise ship crowds. Avoid the area altogether at night when it's hard to see where you're going. You never know what you might step on out in the Arabian wilderness. Number 7. Donkey Sanctuary Aruba Get ready to be overwhelmed with cute. The Donkey Sanctuary Aruba is a non-profit organization devoted to saving the island's donkeys and educating locals and tourists on their care. Donkeys used to be the main form of transportation on the island. Now many of them are sick and injured. The lucky ones receive proper care and shelter in this donkey sanctuary in the Santa Cruz neighborhood in Aruba's northeast side about 8 miles from Eagle Beach. Recent visitors found the animals to be sweet, docile creatures eager to interact with people, especially if you bring the right treats. Many visitors praised the mission and enjoyed stopping by. If you're traveling with kids, reviewers said this activity is a must. The Donkey Sanctuary Aruba is open daily from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. There's no admission fee to visit, but you're encouraged to make a donation to the organization's effort to save the Arab and donkey.
Number 6. The Butterfly Farm This colorful attraction in Orangestad boasts hundreds of exotic butterflies from around the world. From blue morphos from South America to longwings and monarchs from the Caribbean, visitors are encouraged to take a 20-minute guided tour, which are offered all day, to learn about the evolutionary cycle of butterflies. Recent visitors said that the farm is definitely worth checking out, noting that if you visit in the morning, you may even see butterflies hatching. Guides will also show you the best way to handle the butterflies and caterpillars without damaging them. The staff recommends wearing bright colors and citrus cologne to attract the butterflies to land on you. The farm is open daily from 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Tickets cost $15 for adults and $8 for kids between the ages of 4 and 16. Children 3 and younger are admitted for free. Tickets, which are valid for return visits at any point during your Aruba vacation, include a tour of the farm. Past visitors recommend making a trip to the butterfly farm at the beginning of your Aruba vacation so you can come back multiple times if you wish. Number 5. Aruba Ostrich Farm Did you know that ostriches lay the largest eggs of any bird species? Or that they only have two toes per foot? You can learn all kinds of fascinating and trivial facts of this sort during a day at the Aruba Ostrich Farm on the island's eastern coast. In addition to trivia, the farm's tour guides will educate you on the survival instincts and mannerisms of the ostriches and emus that live at the farm. Plus you'll get a chance to interact with them up close. Recent vacationers especially enjoyed feeding the large birds, but said it's a quick stop. Those traveling with kids said this was an especially memorable experience for youngsters. Beware that the professional photos taken by the farm's photographer are not free. Meanwhile, others recommend bringing an umbrella for shade as there is none on the farm. The Aruba Ostrich Farm is open daily, with guided tours available every half hour from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Tours cost $14 per adult and $7 per child. Number 4. Arakok National Park Arabian rattlesnakes, parakeets and whipped lizards make their home in the Arakok National Park, as do numerous iguanas, goats, donkeys and migratory birds. So, if you don't like animals, stay clear of Aruba's southeastern quadrant, which is dominated by this ecological preserve, an extremely popular tourist stop. Many who visit Arakok make a day of observing the area's wildlife, exploring the caves, sand dunes and limestone cliffs that populate the area or cooling off in the natural pool that sit within the park's limits. Many choose to drive through the park in a four-wheel drive vehicle, but you can also get out and hike in some spots. Considering the breadth of land and activity in Arakok, it's best to pick one or two top things to do or perhaps visit the park again on another day. Recent visitors said it's a must-see attraction and like nothing else on Aruba, admission to Arakok National Park costs $11. Children ages 17 and younger can enter for free. The park is open daily from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Stop by the visitor center to speak with a ranger and pick up a map. Number 3. To Palm Tours, Atlantis Submarines Expedition Take an exciting and unforgettable voyage into the depths of the Caribbean Sea on an Atlantis Submarines Expedition. Voted Aruba's most outstanding attraction, visitors are taken 130 feet below the surface of the sea on a guided tour in the largest passenger submarine in the world. U.S. Coast Guard approved, environmentally friendly, and fully air-conditioned, the submarine tour lasts approximately one hour and 45 minutes and explores the colorful marine life that lives in the waters around Aruba. Tours depart from the Atlantis Submarine Store downtown across from the Renaissance Resort and guests are advised to wear casual clothing and comfortable walking shoes. Children must be a minimum of 36 in height and 4 years old to ride the submarine. Number 2. Palm Beach. Some vacationers like their water for swimming, not sporting. If this is you, ditch the low-rise area at Eagle Beach and try the more tranquil turquoise waters along Palm Beach, located just above Eagle Beach on Aruba's western coast. You'll have fewer jet skis and wakeboarders to avoid as you wade in the Caribbean Sea. Recent travelers were impressed with the water's bright, clear blue color and the soft, white sand of the shoreline that varies by location. Others remarked on the memorable sunsets and prevalence of tiki bars. 
Palm Beach, also known as High Rise Area, plays host to the imposing Aruba Marriott Resort and Stellaris Casino, the Hilton Aruba Caribbean Resort and Casino, and the Hyatt Regency Aruba Resort Spa and Casino, among others. Even so, Palm Beach is open to the public at any time of day, and many of the hotels will allow you to change in their lobby bathrooms or purchase refreshments at their concession stands or beach bars. Number 1. Eagle Beach, known as Low Rise Area for its low-to-the-ground hotels and timeshares, Northwestern Eagle Beach is one of the island's top shores by default. You're probably staying nearby. Convenience aside, Eagle Beach truly is one of the best places to spend a day in Aruba. Recent visitors called the beach magnificent with gorgeous white sand and the bluest water. They do warn of high winds, however, so plan to wear a hat to protect from any flying sand. If your hotel is near here, you can ask at the reception desk about renting water sports equipment or taking a sunset cruise on a catamaran. And there are nearby restaurants should you get hungry. Plus, like many a Caribbean beach, Eagle Beach is great for just relaxing, and if you come at the right time of year, you can interact with wildlife. Eagle Beach is open to the public 24-7 and access to the beach is free. If you're not staying on the beach, it's also a stop along a handful of Erebus routes. 